The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted lives globally and has resulted in either loss or reduction in income for many. TTT News recently connected with some members of the creative industries to find out how they've been coping during what can be described as trying times. Cameraman Rajnath Lal chatted with some of them. Crystal Wilson brings us more in this report. Located in the Queen's Park Oval, the junk collage offers vendors a place and a space to display their creative handmade items for sale. Art, jewelry, homemade candles, aromatherapy oils, locally designed journals and greeting cards are among the many items offered by the 54 vendors attached to the store. Owner and founder Rhea Mustafa says her love for handmade jewelry while attending secondary school is what triggered her entrepreneurial desires. So it's actually a combination, if you haven't guessed it already, of two words, junk and collage. Um, it's spelled J-U-N-C-K-O-L-L-A-G-E, so you know it's a mixture of the two words. Um, but a lot of people call it all kinds of things. So we get junk college, junkology, junkaholic. And while the world continues to be ravaged by COVID-19, earning an income as a creative during this pandemic can be a bit of a challenge. So I went through a little, a, li a little part of me went through a depression because everywhere was closed. And um, I was like, what is the sense? What is the sense in making? Other vendors remain hopeful this situation is temporary and will end soon. You have to really push and find ways to create a niche so that that way you become something that's more specific and tailored to somebody or something. And that way you create your own income. Others are grateful for the opportunity to share their pieces, referring to it as a space that allows for expressing their creativity. COVID itself has been a little tricky because my Etsy shop and the other online platforms, it's been difficult doing deliveries externally, any international deliveries. Yeah, so what has happened is that a lot of the items that I would have had in a shop update then, I would have had to instead offer it locally only. And I've stopped using the Etsy shop just for a little while until we could get international deliveries going again. Mm -hmm. The junk collage says it expects to expand its pool of vendors and is encouraging members of the public to show their support for those creatives, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.